Good day, fellow investors. How many stocks should you have in your portfolio and what should be the maximum exposure? This is a great question that came from Fabian. Sven, would you mind doing a video on portfolio allocation? Allocate enough of the portfolio not to over diversify and have a positive impact in case of upside, but not so much to avoid catastrophic loss. Is 10 to 15% max of your portfolio value what you have been using in your personal portfolio? So this is such an important question because you have to eliminate the problems that might come from a fixed, unflexible investing mindset and on the other hand have some structure to lead you to whatever might happen in the stock market. Usually a stock goes up 50% and falls 33% during a year. That's normal, that's the stock market. Even the biggest companies do that, like Apple. So there will always be big changes in your, your portfolio, especially if you have a small number of stocks. Now you can decide, okay, Warren Buffett says that diversification is for fools. However, on the other hand, Peter Lynch always had more than 50, 100 big positions in his portfolio and another 100 small positions. So first decision is, okay, what's my strategy? Am I going to focus on a few great businesses, great value investments, and I'm going to be sure, especially if it's value investing, it's much easier, then you know, okay, I'm going to get the return eventually, so you can have a smaller number of positions. If you're more like Lynch, that follows the market, follows the earnings, follows the trends, follows what's going on, tries to find those undiscovered gems, then you might say, okay, I'm going to have 100 positions because if of those 100, one is the next Amazon, then I will get a 200 bagger out of just that one stock that will cover for all the portfolio. So first, what you have to decide is what's my strategy? A lot of stocks and then I'm going for the jackpot 25 baggers or something, or just a few carefully analyzed, assessed risk reward investments, and then you go with a lower number. I am not so much inclined into Lynch. I like his strategy, but I like to apply also those strategy on my five to seven, 10 holdings. I think with the number of holdings, I will go up to seven. And when I come to seven, I'm currently at five, still researching, then I'll use John Templeton's advice to sell only when you find something 50% better. So if I find something in my research that's 50% better than my seventh holding, I might replace that holding with this new one. This will really focus to put quality, quality, quality into the portfolio and the more quality I put during time into the portfolio, some will be taken over, some will explode in price, some will be very bad as there is something that I didn't see, which is normal in the stock market. And then I'll manage the portfolio. And here I want to say, managing a portfolio is a process. Therefore, you shouldn't have a fixed mindset. So I would say, see what's your strategy. Have, I don't know, seven stocks, 10 stocks, 150 stocks or 100 like Lynch, but then don't have a fixed portfolio exposure. Many say, okay, I'm going to have maximum 13 or maximum 10% of my portfolio exposed to one stock. And I think this is a big mistake because that one stock might be really, really good and you want to just let it grow over time, let it pay you dividends. And it might become in, at some point in time, 10, 20, 30% of your portfolio. And if you know it's still good, why would you sell even part of it? Because you're selling the good in order to buy something worse. And this is something you have to see. So, okay, have a set number of positions in your portfolio, but be flexible with the exposure. That's my message and I'm flexible with the exposure. I hope that some of my current portfolio holdings fall 50% so that I can put 20, 25% of my portfolio in it. Because when then I compare the value investing risk, the risk of permanent capital loss over the long term, I know that it is minimal and I can have 20, 20 something percent of my portfolio in a stock because I know that, okay, the yield then, business yield should be above 15%, close to 20, with relative safety, a good business, and then I'm happy to go even higher. I used to have also 70% of my portfolio in one stock in 2009. Didn't have much time to look at stocks, 
but I found something good, put 70% of it, became a five bagger and I did really, really well. So on how much cash you should have in your portfolio, Registratia asks, is cash still a king? So after this video about currencies, the potential, the practical loss, the definitive certain loss of what currencies bring over time, he wants to buy assets, real estate, commodity stocks, gold, etc. But everything looks so expensive now. True to according to the video, all these assets inevitably will be more expensive. So he's confused. My simple answer when it comes to cash is when you find investments that give you a decent return on investment in relation to the risk for your investing appetite, you invest. When you don't find them, you don't invest. And over the past year, I have found six such investments that satisfy my investment uh, criteria, give me a good return. And if there is a recession, of course, I will bleed. But in the meantime, I will do well with nice dividends and nice returns. So it's not about a certain level of cash you should have in a, your portfolio. It's all about the risk and reward of what you can find. My lump sum portfolio is 60%, 65% invested now. And as things go along, if I find more such opportunities, a little bit diversified across the world, I might even go to 80% and the 20% I'll always leave for short term volatility to take advantage of the short term volatility that always arises, especially if you own eight stocks. And that's it. Whether there will be a recession, many expected the crisis in 2012 and have been out of the market, out of stocks, missed on what, seven years of dividends, seven years of business growth, etc. So on cash, it's about your personal situation. Do you need the money to buy something or it is about the risk and reward? The message is the conclusion. Have a fixed number of stocks in your portfolio because this increases your sharpness. Allow for flexibility in the portfolio exposure. If something is good, 25%, 30%. No worries. If something is bad, you try to put it out, replace it with something good. And that's what the portfolio positions allow you. But be flexible there because really assess the risk and reward of each investment, the quality of it, and then see where it leads you. As I said, portfolio managing is a long term process. Thank you for watching. Looking forward to your comments and I'll see you in the next video.